This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So Fight Hype have literally just uploaded a brief sit-down interview with Anthony Joshua. And it was split up into um, a couple of parts. One was about DAZN, about Povetkin, and of course another one about Deontay Wilder, which is about this one, of course. Um, I wasn't too sure if uh, Joshua was going to give any kind of sit-down interviews with anybody. Um, because... I thought that he may have saved a lot of it for the UK, which is probably what he has done. I think he has held back on a lot of stuff, to be fair. So we'll probably find out more details today for the Wembley press conference, which I believe is at 1pm, 1, 1 so I've been told. So anyway, within this interview, um, some of the bits that he did kind of like leak out was the fact that Deontay Wilder was sending him loads and loads of um, script, long paragraph kind of like emails and uh, Joshua was keeping it short and sweet and you know if you want the fight sign the contract and you know that kind of thing so within here I mean Joshua said a lot of things that I've been saying so he's pretty much just confirmed what I've been saying which is you know with the 50 million that's fine but what's the terms what do I have to do for the 50 million they didn't show him even though Shelly Finkel said that he did but he's saying well the impression that I'm getting of course is that he's saying that that's not what happened. They may have come out with a couple of things within there that, uh, you know, that the fight could be either October, November, and it could be at New York or Vegas, which is a lot more vague than what Team Joshua was doing when they offered Wilder a contract, which will be, it will be October at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, in front of 80,000. So, their one was a lot more vague. Also, Wilder's been going around saying that, um, you know, why would I sign something when there's no date and venue? But yet, they were up, yeah, everybody's asking Joshua to sign for this 50 million, even though they haven't proven the funds of 50 million. They didn't put it into an escrow, nothing like that. Okay. Now, within the other things that he said, it does appear, though, that he really wants to fight, and it was Wilder. That doesn't want the fight. Or maybe Wilder does, but he's outpricing himself. It's like Joshua's questioning, are you just after a payday? Is that what you want? Because for the 15 million, then why didn't you sign the contract? You agreed on everything. And this is what Joshua says, you agreed on everything. The only thing were like a couple of little stumbling points here and there. They sorted them out. Why didn't you sign? You had the contract for plenty of time. Why didn't you sign? 15 million. People say, well, he turned down 50 million. Okay. 50 million dollars, not pounds, would be the one. And that's not even double what he gets for any fight now. That's not double what he's going to get for fighting Povetkin. But yet the 15 million is eight times the amount of money that Wilder got in his last fight against Luis Ortiz. And maybe a bit more than eight times what he's going to get to fight Dominic Brazil next. So there's a whole gulf of difference between them. Yes, 50 million is a serious amount of money. Let's not say it's not. Where people say, who turns down 50 million? Well, if it's not even double your payday, to him, yes, it's a lot of money, but it's not as much to him as it is to you. Well, Wilder says, who turns down 50 million? I'll fight anybody anytime for 50 million. Yeah because your highest payday is 2.1 million. That's 25 times more than your highest payday. 25 times more than your highest payday. Not even double for him. So the whole gulf of difference, it's not life-changing money for him because he's already got life-changing money. If he never fights again, he's perfectly okay, believe me, he's perfectly fine. So again, um, you know, he was asked, what was it? what is it that you would do if Wilder come face to face to you. He said, here's a pen, sign the contract. The bits that you didn't want to sign a contract before, even though you agreed everything, was a date and venue. Now you have a date and venue, sign the contract. Now again, people will say, well, why would you sign a contract that's in, what, seven months time or whatever it is, because you don't know what's going to happen between now and then. And you're right, you don't. So therefore, if either guy was to lose between now and then, Things change, that contract then becomes null and void. But if you both carry on winning, then there's no reason why this fight can't happen. Wilder doesn't have to have another fight between now and then. He doesn't have to. 
It's ideal that he does, otherwise he may develop a bit of ring rust. So go fight Dominic Brazil, then keep your calendar clear. So again, with Wilder saying he wants 50-50 now, so again, you have to question, do you really want the fight? And his fans, you know, they're saying, all we want is the fight. We don't care about money. Why is it that uh, you Joshua fans always talk about money? Here in America, we don't talk about other people's pockets. Why are you doing that? That's some weak ass shit, is what they say. Yeah, look at all these channels now. That's all they're doing. Suddenly now, overnight, they've turned into chartered accountants. Two-facedness. Hypocrisy. These are the things that these channels do. This is what I'm saying. You can't believe a word what comes out of their mouth. You see, they accuse Eddie Hearn of contradicting himself. Well, he doesn't really. But yet they do it on a daily basis. And that's the truth of it. They do. As I said, for months now, they've been saying, why is that Joshua fans count, count his pockets? Are you getting paid any of that? Why do you care how much he's getting paid? I don't care if they're fighting for free. I don't care if they're fighting for 100 million. I don't care about any of this. We don't care about another man's pockets over here. And now all they do is just talk about money. Hypocrisy. They were talking about how they want this fight, this undisputed fight, and it gets closer and closer and closer. And finally, he gets a contract. Finally, after four weeks of sitting there, he agrees to the terms that were offered four weeks previous. He agrees with it. They get sent a contract two days later than what Eddie Hearn said he was going to get it. Wow, a whole two days. They then sat on it for another week. And within this week, what happened? All his, uh, these fan channels are saying, I think Wilder should walk away. You don't actually want the fight, do you? You want this to carry on. Why? Because you can get views, because you can get subs. That's all it is. So you can carry on conning your subscribers, trying to get super chats out of them. Whatever, you know, more power to you, but stop your lying would be one of them. It's amazing. It seems to be if you're a channel and you're a real Deontay Wilder fan, which you're not really a Deontay Wilder fan because I was talking about Wilder before you were, as in regular. And my channel is only just over a year old. Yet you guys have been out there for years. But yet these people... Now suddenly they're huge Deontay Wilder fans. They're not at all, they're all newbies. They don't care about money, yet all they do is talk about this 50 million, which as I said, is not even double Joshua's highest payday. So while 50 million is a lot to you and me, and it's a lot to Wilder, it's a lot to Joshua too, but it doesn't have the same value to Joshua as it does for them. Wilder says, well, why would I sign 50 million when I don't know when the fight is? As I said, October, the Principality Stadium, Cardiff. People say, well, why is it that Joshua's fighting Povetkin in September when Eddie Hearn said that September at Wembley isn't available? I mean, first of all, does it really matter if it happens in Wembley in September or October in the Principality Stadium in Cardiff? It's only, what, four weeks difference is the first one. And second of all, I've said this time and time again, but these people... I would love to kind of like grab their head and smack it against the wall sometimes just to see if a little bit of common sense drops in there. But September, Canelo, Triple G. September the 15th. The original one could have been September the 22nd, which is of course what Joshua's going to be fighting Povetkin on. That could have been the date for Wilder. But who in America is going to pay for a pay-per-view for Canelo and Triple G? and pay for Joshua Wilder. They're not gonna do it. Canelo and Triple G are bigger stars in America than Wilder and Joshua. Let's be honest with that. Now, just because a couple of YouTube channels wanna talk about it, doesn't mean it's a popping fight in America. Just because it's popping in your house, does not mean it's popular at all. It's popular over here, but people don't know Wilder over here. Unless you're a real boxing fan, you don't know who Wilder is. In America, don't know who Wilder is. They don't know who Joshua is. So it's not that big a fight. But yet people know who Canelo is and know who Triple G is. Yes, it's business and it's their business. It's not my business. But fact is, they're not going to risk losing out, not making enough money on a pay-per-view in America. 
How well that pay-per-view will do, we don't know how well it will do. You guys may say it's going to do 100 million, 200 million, whatever. You don't know that. Put your house on it. That it will do over 100 million just in the States alone. Put your house on it. You wouldn't. Why? Because you're just breathing hot air. That's all you're doing. And lying all the time. Wilder, $15 million is way, 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 way more than what he's worth. That's double what Joseph Parker got. Yeah, he had one belt. Wilder's got one belt. Well, Wilder's been champion longer. Yeah, because he never stepped up. He's never, he hasn't done anything. He's had 40 fights. He hasn't done anything. Joshua should fight outside the UK because Wilder has. But Wilder hasn't as champion. And a lot of his fights were in Mexico. Not exactly abroad, is it? But if you want to go with that one, the fact that he, that he has fought a few times in Mexico... Okay, Joshua's fought in Cardiff, in Wales. Wales is not England. Again, it's a different country. So technically, he has in his last two fights. But, as I said, these guys will just carry on lying and lying and expose themselves. It's very, very easy. It's so easy to expose these people. It really is. And Joshua hit the nail right on the head. You agree to all this. So suddenly now, even though you've been stringing it out for so long and the WBA have said... Are you fighting Wildness? Yeah, yeah, we have. Has he signed yet? Uh, no. Then in which case, you're not fighting him next, are you? And this has been going on for months. It's a case of, we're going to strip you of that WBA title if you don't fight Povetkin. Or, you better sign with Wilder. But Wilder, he's stringing it out. Well, that's not our problem. Maybe Wilder doesn't want the fight. We're not stringing this out any longer. We've been waiting for three years now for our mandatory. The last time that they had a mandatory was Bryant Jennings against Vladimir Klitschko. They want their mandatory. Shirley Winkle, Deontay Wilder, Team Wilder, you guys have been stringing this out. You never wanted to fight. You've been using Joshua's name. That's all it is. And these fangirl channels are just using Joshua's name. That's all they're doing. They can't make a video without mentioning Eddie Hearn or Anthony Joshua. They can't do it. It's impossible. I'm hearing things that maybe they want to boycott the zone. What ever. Then clearly you're not a boxing fan. If you're serious about it, you're not a boxing fan. But to boycott it, it means you're not going to watch them. And if you're not going to watch them, then no post-fight review videos. You make a post-fight review video, then you're a liar. Again, another one on top of the very long mountain, the very tall mountain of lies that, that uh, you know you guys are doing. Because you guys will create a rumour and then spin it as if it's true. Absolute scumbags. But anyway, ultimately, whether they fight, whether they don't fight, you will still go to bed tonight and wake up tomorrow morning. You will still have the same bills, you still watch the same TV, you still go to the same job, you still get in the same car, you still brush your teeth with the same toothbrush, and it's an old toothbrush, change it, get a new one, whatever. Ultimately, it's not that important. But yes, we all want to see the fight. But what is it that Joshua can do if Wilder refuses to sign a contract? He could have been fighting him next. But Wilder sat on that contract for a week and then said, well, we're going to send it back in another week's time, unsigned with comments saying we want date and venue. October, Cardiff, Wales. Simple. But we want September. You said that September isn't available. It's available for Povetkin because that is not pay-per-view in America. It's not clashing with Triple G and Canelo. I don't even know if Triple G and Canelo is going to be pay-per-view over here in the UK. I have no idea. But if it is, I know whose pay-per-view people are buying over here. In America, you wouldn't know whose pay-per-view people are buying. Triple G Canelo or Joshua Wilder. You guys said that... Terence Crawford versus Julius Ndongo, that undisputed fight is the biggest fight in boxing at the time. No bugger watched it. There was no profile, there was no nothing. But yet, we're supposed to believe you guys that, it's, that this is a huge fight and this will outdo Triple G Canelo. Actually, that fight would have to way outdo Triple G and Canelo by double just for Wilder to, to actually start making money based on the 50 million that he offered Joshua. That ain't gonna happen. 
anyway that is what it is so Joshua has briefly spoken about this he has spoken about the 50 million again there was no terms what do I have to do for the 50 million they didn't prove that they had it they didn't show what he had to do for the 50 million and Wilder agreed to a contract agreed to the terms he got the contract and refused to sign over date and venue when plenty of fights out there are signed without a date and venue look at Jacobs and Debrachenko there's still no date on it there's still no venue on it other than it's looking more likely that it's going to be in New York but whereabouts in New York still don't know plenty of fights like this happen it happens the world over and if you don't know this then why don't you know this and yet you're talking like you're experts but yet you don't know those simplest of things you keep making excuses for Wilder that's all it is Wilder can say anything Wilder can say well it should be 50 50 but he has been and you guys go yeah it should be 50 50 even though Joshua's done all the hard work, built the profile, collected all the belts one at a time, while Wilder's done nothing. Except put that WBC legendary title on the line against people who don't deserve that shot. He didn't deserve that shot. Right before he got a WBC title shot, he fought Jason Gavin. Really? But yeah, he deserves 50-50. He beat Luis Ortiz, a guy who had never stepped up himself. His biggest one was Bryant Jennings, who in the previous fight lost to Vladimir Klitschko. It's amazing the hypocrisy. I know I've gone off point to what Joshua was saying, but there's some points that, that really need to be said. That these guys are just absolute haters. They are no good for boxing. These guys are a cancer for boxing. They are an absolute cancer. And Wilder is a fraud of a champion. He had the golden opportunity to satisfy his fans. Since the beginning of 2017, this will be my year. I promise my fans, I love my fans. Unified, heavyweight, champion of the world, one face, one name. His name is the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Nothing happened. You fought Bermain Stavern for crying out loud. What's going on? But yet these people want to protect him, everything that he does. As I said, Wilder could say, well, um, you know what? We'll have six rounds in the UK and then we'll have six rounds in the US and we'll put scorecards together and see who wins. His fans will go, yeah, that's fair. What's wrong with Joshua? What's wrong with Eddie Hearn? See, they don't really want the fight. We have three rounds in the UK, three rounds in the US, three rounds in Germany, three rounds in North Korea, if Wilder says it. Yeah, he's right, see? Wilder wants to fight. And again, these guys were saying how Wilder only wanted a rematch if he beat Joshua. These people were saying, of course that's what he's talking about. And I was saying to you, no, no, he wants a rematch anyway. No, of course he doesn't. Don't listen to him, he's lying. Well, here we are, he wants a rematch anyway. We're, even if he loses, even if he gets blitzed in the first round, he wants a rematch in the States. You guys can't win. You can't win. Your walls are paper. Your lies are evident. And anybody who follows these people, anybody who are subscribed to these liars, I'm sorry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you giving these people views? You're giving them ammunition to keep on lying to the public. Anyway, so Joshua wants Wilder. Wilder has a contract for April the 13th. It should have been October, Cardiff, Wales. But no, he didn't want that. He stalled it out. He didn't want the fight. April 13th, Wembley Stadium. Do you want the fight or don't you? Don't price yourself out. 15 million is eight times more than what you're worth. You bring nothing to this fight. You're only mentioned because you hold a title. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. I know people don't like hearing it. I know people are sick of hearing it all. But these people are coming out with the same rhetoric. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Where were these channels? Joshua was in the States yesterday. Where were these channels? Were they there? Where's your exclusive interview with him? Where's your exclusive interview with Eddie Hearn? Where is it? All I'm seeing is fight hype. That's all I'm seeing. I'm not seeing um, uh, 
Sorry, I've seen a brief from a distance with boxing boys. Well, at least I got something. Absolute haters. Absolute scum of the earth. Anyway, enough of that. Press conference today, one o'clock. Matchroom Boxing on YouTube, Sky Sports Boxing on YouTube. Go check them out, go check out the live. If I remember, of course, and if I have a chance, I'll catch you all on the live feed in the comment section. Come see me. If anybody's got a problem with anything that like I said, if you want to try and correct me, meet me there. Simple as that. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.